Hi, happy Sunday. How are we doing? Blink 56 magic. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Hi, Spicy. 83 for Spicy. Very nice. Hi, Eli. Oops. <laughs> oh, Atlantic redeemed the sparkle, so give me a sec. Because it doesn't show up on the on the starting screen. So there you go. There's your sparkles. Big pile of cushions for Plink. Hey, Stardust. Uh, you're awake. You're doing well. Many people have missed the next morning after an evening with Pumba. Yep, I am, I am here. Just about. <laughs> Hi, Sip. Thank you so much for coming by. Have a beautiful Sunday as well. Thank you for the Lurk Mirror. I appreciate it. Hi, Vixen. How are you doing? Yes, yeah, Sparkles. And the protection spell's hopefully looking a little bit smoother. The hat is beautiful, thank you. I didn't make the hat, I can't. I have to say that. All the embellishments and stuff are, are me, but we're getting there. Um, hey, Sargle, how you doing? Good to see you. Can we have a shout out for Vixen and Sargle, please? I'd appreciate that. And if we've missed anybody, please give us a shout. 3 2 a.m., 6 degrees, coffee number one. It's getting a little warmer where you are. Hey, Noofie. 30 minutes from you and you're at Pumper's buddy. I didn't know that. If I'd have known, I would have been yelling and being like, bring me down right now. <laughs> so we started doing the shelf ones. I'm going to see whether I can get this down a little smaller. Uh, good, thanks. Made a filly up. Oh, congratulations, Vixen. That's amazing. I love that for you. Yeah, folks, make sure that you're following Vixen. Go and celebrate with her for... Uh, Reaching 37% magic. I love that. Happens about this time of year. Iman, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome in, buddies. Doing okay, but fantastic since you're live. Oh, Circle, you sweetie. I hope that you're okay, my friend. We are here for you. For the Iman me. Hey, Mr. Steve. How you doing, buddy? But welcome in, raiders. How are you doing? If you haven't been here before, I'm cozy and I hope you are too. I am a needle felting streamer from the south of the UK. We are currently making a little witchy hat and some mushrooms and things to go on it. So come along, snuggle in, give us a follow if you haven't already. But yeah, how was your stream? Still going strong? <laughs> oh, buddy. Yeah, I kind of, uh, I kind of tapped out. <laughs> 
It's good to see you all. How was your stream, Amon? Did you get to Mars? So well, I blend into the shadows. Never tell people until they, after they left how close they were. <laughs> that is that is pure Batman. That is a very Batman move. <laughs> oh, that kind of froze a sec. Can anyone let me know if this? Oh, hey. Seems to be juddering my end. I'm going to type this. I'm going to type this in case you can't hear me. It's great. Complete the Grand Tour Pass, Pluto, for a helicopter on Mars. What? I can hear. Good, good, good. Good. Yeah, it just juddered for a second. The music kind of went uh, a bit wrong. But yeah, I'm glad that we're still good. In Batman and Demon, it's been a rough back and forth the last few days. I lost my battles. It's been really hard. Sergal, I'm so sorry to hear that, buddy. We can chat or distract. You know the, you know what we do in here. Uh, I can hear. I need to grab my dinner. And the Jupiter Orbiter? Awesome. Grab dinner before my sister calls. No worries, Amon. Thank you so much for coming by. Thank you for bringing your lovely community over. So everybody snuggle in, and we'll talk to you again soon. LARP luck. Yes, our true. Enjoy your LARP. And post pictures, please. Bit of stutter, but sounds fine. Good, 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 good. Thank you. Um, but yeah, I hope you're all doing well. Hey, Mash. Just the flying visits and getting ready to walk. Yes. Hi. Oh, can we have slow mode maybe on like three or five? I think we're pretty chill today. But thank you for shouting out Mash. Please go and check her out. She's awesome and amazing. And I've got her book. I am so excited for anyone who didn't hear us talking about it yesterday. Uh, I have the first of Mash's books. She's an epic fantasy writer being published in October. So if that's your kind of vibe, make sure that you're following Mash. You can get all the details over there. And we're going to set up a command, which I didn't have time to do last night, unfortunately. Went to go and hang out with uh, with Pumba and a bunch of lovely folks, so... Mm -mm, check arts and crafts. <gasps> What's in there? Exclamation point Discord if you're not in there already. It's in arts and crafts. Do -do -do -do. <gasps> it's so big and so cute! Oh, Stardust is so cute. I love it. The proportions and everything are perfect. It's so good. You're awesome and amazing. You shush. <laughs> oh, good. How did Kurt? It starts in the morning. Little guy walking into the bedroom and throw up. Oh, no! He seems to be better now. Yeah, that'll happen. Sometimes you just be like, I feel so much better now. <laughs> the bunny has a body and a head attached. It looks so good, Stardust. Yes, it was much fun. I look forward to the end of the month. Me too. Me too, Steve. It's going to be great fun. I haven't been to the club that we're going to for like at least 15 years, I think. So it's going to be a bit weird for me, but in a good way, I think. Um, as before the years, it's going to be so big and I love it. Hit top 200 in the LGBTQIA short stories category on Amazon. No way, Mash! <gasps> oh, dude, that's so exciting. Ah! I'm going to get all the details and everything. I have put it all in... I think it's all in my Discord. Um, but uh, I will. we will get a command together um, to let people know in here as well. Somewhat nostalgic, yes. It will be interesting to see because I think a few people who used to go back when I used to go will be there. So I'll be like, hey, this is weird. We're all grown-ups now. <laughs> Audio and volume, good, but still peaking, sadly. Okay. Um, well, when I turned it down from here, it, um, was too quiet, so I've just turned it down, like, five decibels, so let me know. I'm probably, my voice is probably not sounding too great either, because I think I'm a little bit poorly right now. Who was at the Pumper Gathering? I was pulling tires on ropes, so I'm not Batman, and that's not Batman training, it's absolutely not. Um, so it was myself, and Law, and Pumba, and Jackie Jacks, and Mr. Steve, and JR. And the Minigon keys as well. Uh, how am I doing? I'm doing good, Sergal. I think I do need to get some rest, though. I'm feeling a little bit tired. Um, but, uh, I'm glad to be here with all of you. Being gay finally pays. Yes! <laughs> Just be, like, amazing queer epic fantasy writer. I mean, that's goals, right? It's party day in the Shire! <gasps> it's... Really? Wait, hold on. Which party? Cause it, is it Bilbo's birthday because i thought that was september i'm confused ah <gasps> hey nos how you doing welcome in can we have a shout out for nos please 
Uh, the ah, oh, the unexpected party. I love that. Happy party day. Expect the peaking is before that volume control. Okay. I don't know anything about the volumes and stuff, so I'm going to have to play with it. I did do um, a couple of test recordings before stream. Um, so I'm going to give that a try, but thank you for pointing it out. Not been getting enough sleep. No, I've been getting sleep. Sleep has been good. I'm just, uh, I'm just feeling a little tired, but I'm going to make sure I'm going to be going to be careful and do a test and stuff and make sure that I'm okay. But it should be fine. It should be fine. Everything's fine. Still peaking must be hardware control, not OBS. Okay. Thank you, Plink. I can't do anything about it right now. So I am sorry if this takes away from your viewing uh, experience, I guess. <laughs> he does do a good Alfred, right? Michael Caine does an excellent Alfred. Uh, sounds good. Thank you, Isla. I appreciate it. Doing great. Wait for my little one to wake up so I can take her out somewhere nice. Ooh, do you have any plans? Or are you, um, are you going to play it by ear when she wakes up? Pollen count is high, so it's killing folk off. Ah, I am very lucky. I don't, um, I don't have, um, hay fever. I, I send out all the love to people who have, uh, issues with pollen and stuff, because that must suck massively. So lots of love to you if you are a person who, uh, experiences hay fever um but yeah i'm just feeling a bit stuffed up got a little bit of a headache but i'm here i'm here hanging out with you lovelies she's still there just a perfectionist absolutely it's not a problem plank i just worry that it's you know that people aren't going to be enjoying it as much um i get horrible throwbacks to first stream and you know how that didn't go well and i just want you guys to have a nice time and not have annoying av issues you know, take away from your enjoyment of being here, so. You're fine, she's be well hydrated and sleeping a little, yeah. And after, after stream, I'm going to go into town, go and get some supplies and stuff, and then I'm going to just curl up and relax for the rest of the day, I think. Ooh, thank you for the hydrate, I let everybody hydrate. It's also a med reminder as well, take your meds if you haven't already. <laughs> Relying on fate, if my friend is available, I'm able to go to be <gasps> Beamish! I love Beamish! As in, like, the Living Museum, right? I love Beamish so much. Uh, I always thought I didn't get hay fever and so much less sniffly in the last few years of masking that I have to admit there's probably some hay fever in there. Possibly. That would make sense. Uh, thank you for the reminder. No worries. Make sure that you've taken your meds, your medicines. Um... But yeah, glad that it sounds okay on your phone, Mash, and Isla, thank you for the reassurance, I appreciate it. I used to suffer with hay fever all year round, but since moving to the coast, it's gotten better. Ooh, that's cool. I mean, that makes me think of, like, where the Victorians were like, go to the seaside and, you know, go and hang out there, it'll make you feel better. <laughs> Get some sea air and that'll cure everything. Gonna be able to grab some pizza. Ooh, enjoy. Come grab some pizza. Um... Where did I want to look? I've got a little picture here for a little, uh, just to see how we're doing. But these guys could actually have a little bit of yellow in them, which would be lovely. Thank you for the car, True. 48 and snacks for everyone. Yes. Take care, Mash. Thank you for being here, buddy. See you again soon. Um, do you know what? I could probably make these a little bit more sort of wobbly, if that makes sense. So we could kind of go in here a little bit to sort of bring the top part down and then um, bring this bottom part up here there we go go to the seaside get some uh, yeah don't yeah don't go to Innsmouth <laughs> I mean yeah <laughs> don't go there um, there we go. Oops. So there's a little, there's a couple of little bits. It's hard to tell when I'm using this sort of cream colour whether it is the right one. Um, or whether any of the gaps are filled in. But actually, we're probably going to add some more colour over that, so that should be fine. Uh, what did you guys do yesterday? Uh, played some magic. Well, I didn't. Laura and I did not play magic, but, um... 
uh, JR, Mr. Steve, and uh, and Pumba and uh, Jackie Jacks all played a little bit of magic, had a lot of fun, and um, yeah, it was uh, it was great. Like they sort of unpacked and found some new fun cards and all of that stuff. I pretended to understand it a little bit, but <laughs> I it was just fun to see people geeking out and having a good time and enjoying themselves, and it was great to hang out with buddies, you know. Um, but yeah, it's basically Laura and I having having chats on the sofa while these uh, lovely folks hung out and played magic. We listened to music. We yeah, just caught up and had a chat and some hugs and it was good times. Yeah, so I feel like I want to wibble these just a little bit more if that makes sense. <laughs> Hey, Ramen! You saw the D&D movie? I have heard good things. What do you think? Was it good? But yeah, it was It was a very nice time. Hang out with buds. Like I said, it was the first time meeting Mr. Steve and Pumba and Jackie Jacks, so got to meet all of them in the reels. And the mini gonkies as well. And I got a beautiful drawing done for me uh, by one of the mini gonkies, so... <laughs> It was decent and nice. I have heard good things. Yes. Uh, one day, what? One day play magic? <laughs> no, I'm okay. I will leave it to the to the people who understand. There was a little um, tutorial video that JR put on for like the new uh, cards, like the um, the new released cards, and I watched it, and none of it went in. <laughs> I was like, I do not understand what this means. Uh, oh, thank you for shouting out Pumba. Yeah, please go and follow Shogun P. He is lovely. We love him lots. Uh, remember hanging with my brother-in-law when he and his friends played magic, just sat and watched and nodded. Yeah, pretty much. I was just like, very good. You all seem to be having a lot of fun, which is the main thing. Probably not for me. Uh, oh, being part of something so wholesome. I mean, it wasn't incredibly wholesome. There was a fair amount of alcohol involved as well. <laughs> so, <laughs> but, um... It was uh, it was a good time. It was nice. It was a bit of a drive though. It's like an hour and a half drive. So, mm, hey Pumba, how you doing, buddy? <laughs> hey Patty Cat, welcome in. Good to see you again. But yeah, it was uh, it was a good time. Would recommend. <laughs> so as I get my absinthe, I'm going. Oh my goodness. I mean, that that does not mean a wholesome time is happening if we've got absence involved. <laughs> Goodness. Uh, I'm doing good, Paddy. I hung out with some friends um, between between streams, between yesterday's stream and today's. I'm feeling a little bit under the weather, but I'm sure that I'm going to be fine. I'm just going to take it slow. So everybody's we're all just going to have a nice chill day today. Uh, it's fine, I don't drink. My mimic lets me enjoy myself as if I had. <laughs> well, you know that J like JR doesn't drink either, so, um, you know, you wouldn't have been the only one there. I hope you get better. Thank you, Paddy. I appreciate that. I hope you're doing well as well. It's great to have you here with us. Amazing Fuzzy. What a name. Hi, what you making? I am making. Hold on. Let me, let me bring the whole thing up so you can see. Wait. Wait a second. Oops, I broke it. Hold on. No, I didn't break it. We're good. Um, I am making a witchy hat. I didn't make the hat, I must point that out. But I'm adding the embellishments and stuff, and then we're making a little shelfy mushroom to go on the opposite side. Um, so that they'll be sort of climbing up the sides here. So yeah, and then we're gonna have a little a little woodland witchy hat. Back with the pizza, half pepperoni and mushroom, half sausage and olive. Nice! That sounds good. Had good remembrance yesterday, my grandpa, but um uh, let's side note, I'm kind of sick of this white stuff. I'm getting Monday. Oh, are you getting more snow? Oh my goodness. Yeah, we, we haven't really had a huge amount of snow down in the south of England, but I hope that, I hope that you, um, are okay. I hope that you guys are safe. That's the main thing. But yeah, that sounds good, Sergal. I like a half and half pizza. <laughs> and olives. Olives are just, olives are the best. You needed it now. Yeah, me too, Isla. <laughs> yeah, it's great to have you with us, Amazing Fuzzy. Uh, are you a streamer as well? Or a crafter? Let us know a little bit about you. Or just hang out, chill and vibe. Whatever feels good. 
I think I'm still trying to bring this, like, just a little bit narrower. Um, it's interesting to see what kind of shapes you can get from something when it's already kind of felted pretty solidly. So I'm going to see whether I can just make it a little bit wider and a little bit sort of shallower, if that makes sense. Stark Alchemy! <gasps> Welcome in! The Raid Owl has sounded! Welcome in, Raiders! How are you doing today? Thank you so much for coming by. Hey, Harrowick, is this you? Is this you? <gasps> well, this sounds amazing. Hold on. Welcome to the Star Alchemist Cafe. Uh, best coffee bar on the side of the Milky Way Galaxy. Come drop by and say hi to the owner, Saturn Stark. This sounds amazing. Welcome in. How are you doing, Raiders? we got some amazing names in here. Hold on. Hold on. Let's catch up. But thank you so much for coming by. I'll do my little intro. Welcome in, Raiders. I'm Cozy, and I hope you are too. I'm a needle felting streamer from the south of the UK. Uh, I stream Saturdays and Sundays, 10 a.m. till 2 p.m. UK time, and we are all about the comfy, cozy vibes in here. I am your emotional support cryptid, Divergent Dreams. What a name. You are going to fit in so well here. Thank you so much for the follow. But how is your stream, Stark? I am going to be dropping you a follow straight after. Oh, Stark, thank you so much for the follow. I'll be dropping you a follow after stream. And come and check you out, folks. Make sure that you're following our new friend. And make everybody feel welcome, as you always do. Should be asleep, but not going to. Uh, not going to. Why? I just don't feel like it. Okay. That is absolutely fine, Patty. You can rest quietly instead of sleeping. That's fine. Pinkadoop. What a name. I love this. Fellow Raiders, remember to reload times if you can. Thank you for pointing that out. I really do appreciate that. Hold on. Why is it? Space Ghost Bones. What a name. Cappy Studios, thank you for the follow. Oh my goodness. Hey, Tux. Sorry to hear you're feeling a bit under the weather, sending all the positive vibes so you can feel better soon. Thank you, buddy. I really do appreciate that. Can we have a shout out for Elden Tux as well, please? Hey, Caps, how are you doing? Love to see you finally arrive. Enjoy your stay. <gasps> Circle. Are you involved in this as well? You're cheeky. Hey, Clown, welcome in. Just came up for grocery shopping, sat down with breakfast. Hey, Drifting. Good to see you, buddy. If I've missed anybody, I do apologize, but please just feel free to repost. It gets a little wild in here when we've uh, when we've had a raid. So, yeah, it's great to see you. Hold on. Uh, yeah, Cappy Studios, welcome in. Thank you so much for the follow. Mum made this button-up mac and cheese with sage leaves and truffle salt. That sounds amazing, Roman. I want that right now. But yeah, welcome in, everybody. Nanako. Nanako Riri, hey. Time for my sleep. Uh, your headache didn't get any better. Hello and bye. Sorry I'm never here to see your streams. Nanako, it is a joy for you to be here, even if it's only for a couple of minutes, buddy. Thank you so much for coming by. I hope that you get some good rest. It's great to see you. Uh, it's absolutely so fun. Everyone was so silly. Maybe have to adopt 28 cats that are located on my horns and hair. <gasps> that sounds amazing. <laughs> I love that a lot. I'm definitely going to come to check out your stream. That sounds too fun. And you recommended me Sergal, you sweetie. I wasn't sure if it was yourself or the lovely Harrowick as well. Because you love you both. Um, I'm going to send the love to new friends. Yes. Um, <laughs> who is me? Yes. Every dream has meaning. Me who just woke from the most random heist movie yes dream. <laughs> I mean, it could do. That's so sweet. Um, yes, yeah, so I am currently making, folks, so um, I'm going to Comic-Con in uh, at the end of May, and I'm in the middle of making a witchy hat. So I didn't make the hat, I must point that out, but all of the um, embellishments and stuff, apart from these, which were made by the lovely green ear scene in my chat, um, these are micro crocheted little mushrooms. So yesterday we added the French knitting uh, band around the top here, um, and we made uh, an oak leaf and we made some mossy bits here, and then we're now making little shelfy mushrooms to go up the other side of the hat. So it's going to be very woodlandy. Let me just catch up. I tried needle insulting. I felt amazing, but I failed. Oh no! As in needle felting? Ah, hi, Harrowick. I remember that noise. Yeah, don't yell at the needles. Comic-Con, yes. Yeah. So we're going to London Comic-Con, MCM Comic-Con. I actually went to um, Star Wars Celebration last week, which was great fun. So in celebration of that, I made an Ewok. So <laughs> the time lapse for this will be up on my, uh, on my YouTube um, by the end of today. Uh, I didn't have time to put it up there yesterday. But if you don't have time to hang out and watch the entire stream, I completely understand. We're all busy peoples. Um, 
so rather than four hours of stream, you can actually go and watch um, some of my creations. I've got over 100 videos on my YouTube, and they're all time-lapse. So you can watch uh, a four-hour stream in about seven or eight minutes. Hat, yes! Those gorgeous little mushroom cute things. Aren't they amazing? The incredible uh, green ear scene uh, who is in the chat some, uh, sometimes, but they may be having a little rest today, which is absolutely fine. Um, but they made them, and they are so, so talented, so I had to put them on there. Hat. Hat. Had. <laughs> I dream once in a blue moon, it's mostly me, it's random rooms. Yeah, I don't remember my dreams that often. Interesting, isn't it? Hi, green. Oh, there you are, buddy. <laughs> Hi, Wicket. Yeah, we got a Wicket. And hey, JR, how you doing today, bud? Uh, yeah, we use pronouns in here. Look. Um, sorry, gonna leave a like. No worries, Ellie. Um, did you want to put that on a star? But take care, Ellie. It'll slow down in here soon, don't worry. Now it gets a little hectic around um, raid time, but... Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, go in and chill, chill. We have pillow forts, we have blankets, we have all the good stuff in here. So just settle in, snuggle in. It's great to have you with us. Not doing so good in Battle Nine of Demons. Sergal, we love you so much, buddy. Again, if there's anything that we can do, anything that we can do to help, you know where we are, we know where the Discord is. Just let us know. We love you lots. And Ewok, yes! Did not mean to redeem that. No worries. Um, can we re refund the channel points to love the Ellie? And then you can uh, you can redeem a jar of stars whenever you're ready, bud. Emotional support, do <laughs> Yeah, I have emotional emotional support cryptid. <laughs> we all need them, right? Uh, they she he, thank you, Stark. I appreciate that. Night night, JR. <laughs> you just woke up, you're here. Uh, Dara, 76% magic and going back to bed and summoned a cat. I love this. Please go and follow the lovely JR. If you see anybody getting shouted out in here, just go and drop them a follow. It takes five seconds, guaranteed to make a streamer smile. 94 for drifting. Look at you go. Hey, Craigie, thank you for the lucky look. Gonna go for a nap as up too early. Love to face it. Love your face too. Have a good one, Craigie. Thank you for the lurk. I appreciate it. Love the pronouns being said. Yes, pronouns are important. My pronouns are she, they. Uh, they is preferred, but she, because I'm not out to everybody, but whichever works for you guys. But yeah, pronouns are important. We want to see you and know you. All the good things. Uh, kitty, yes, you summoned a kitty. Um, yeah, I agree with Harrowick. Whatever you're going through, Circle, we are here with you. We love you lots, and you can absolutely get through this. How was the Saturday evening? It was really good. It was really nice to hang out with everybody. Um, they played magic while Laura and I just hung out on the sofa and chatted about stuff, which was nice. It's good to see everyone. And uh, we got to see the mini gong keys as well. And I got a lovely drawing done for me um, by uh, one of the mini gong keys. It was very lovely. Pronouns are she had. Thank you for sharing everything. Like your bottles of fluff. Ooh, fuzzy. You will like, possibly, if you head to my YouTube. And uh, please consider hitting the subscribe button. It's completely free. And you get uh, two video, two new videos every week. Um, but I actually did an entire stream of brushing all of these out. So I have an entire shelf filled with jars. Which kind of look like potions, which I quite like. So all the fluff is kept in there. I do have a couple that I need to fill up, I think. And brush out from last week, but <laughs> you got a Pumba hug. Yes, you did. And Pumba doesn't hug people. Pumba is not a hugger. So JR was honored. Oh, thank you for the ghosties. Are they looking a little bit smoother today? Oh, a bit juddery on my end, but little juddery ghosts, it's fine. You really are a witch, yes. <laughs> yep, a little bit of magic here and there. Makes life a bit more interesting, right? I have some spookies. Thank you, Drifting. <laughs> 52 for Harrowick. I love that. 52% magic. Um, oh, Circle Buddy. Anything we can do to help. Just by being... Even if it's just being here and just chatting away about absolute nonsense. We are here for you. Please, uh, I've got report refunded. Yeah, I led. Were you able to refund the points? Or um, would you like me to do it? I'm not sure if you're away. I did ask for it, for it earlier, but yeah, it should do. Like how simple needle felting is, just stab the thing. Yeah, exactly. I always say to people, just give it a try. Sculpt things into shapes and see how it goes. 
Um, mm, 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 mm. Yeah, we love you lots. Big, yeah, big hugs if wanted. Posy vibes if hugs are not uh, are not your thing, and that is fine too. Failed needle felting is hilariously cursed. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, there are a couple of things I've made, which is uh, not so not so wonderful. Um, yeah, do you want a hand with that, Isla? Let me um, let me see if you give me a shout if you need a hand with the um, with the the refunding of the points. Uh, yes, please. No worries. Give me a sec. I'll get that sorted out for you, Ellie. Is that going to create some kind of horrific feedback? Possibly, but we'll stick with it. Don't worry, Ellie, we're getting your points refunded. But thank you for the lurk. I hope you're doing well today. Lots of love to you. Bear with me, folks. Look at the hat. Just look at the hat. Well, look, hat. Ooh. Didn't sharpen the raw request. Okay. Um. Let me check. <laughs> Bear with me, folks. Thank you for your patience. I appreciate it. Yep, that goes for all of you, too. Take care of yourselves. Give yourself all the time you need to deserve happiness. Yes. Absolutely, you do. Come on. Loady loads. Mm Um, might be at the end. Sorry, I feel like the music has also stopped. I'm sorry about this, folks. I seem to be having not so great streams this weekend, but try my best. Thank you for your patience. There we go. <laughs> Thank you, Vixen. How did I do the leaf? Ooh, well, the leaf is. I'm sorry if I'm behind behind on chat. The leaf is actually done with a cookie cutter. <laughs> So, one sec. Um, oh, thank you for the follow. I will be there with you just momentarily. Thank you. Um, thank you again for your patience. I'm just trying to, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm not doing well today. I apologize, folks. Um, reject. Reject and refund. There you go, Ellie. And complete all of those so they're done. Done. Okay. Thanks for your patience, folks. I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. Right. There we go. Thank you. Right, so I've cleared the queue now, so it should be... Oh, goodness. Well, I am doing well. <laughs> We're half an hour in. Be patient. I will be there. Oof, okay. There we go. And take care of it on break. No worries, I've done it now. All done. All done. Mm. And thank you for the follow, Fuzzy. I really do appreciate that. A uh, cookie cutter. Right, exactly. So we have cookie cutters. Ooh, and floof. Cookie cutters. We have the leaf ones. We have the maple leafy type one. So I might add one of those, actually. But we're going to carry on with the little uh, shelfy mushrooms to start with. Um... So let's get out. outside of my chair for six hours yesterday. I'm feeling it. Oh, bird, no. Are you a little bit sunburned? Let me just catch up. I think I caught everybody out here. Uh... Okay, so yesterday's stream did help a fair bit. Lovely to laugh with you all and have a nice distraction. Yes, distraction is good. Streams are fun are a bit stinky. Yeah, <laughs> we're in there. <laughs> just super achy. Ah, I see no, we're okay. Thank you, folks. I just, I'm aware that I've had a few audio issues um, that have been brought to my attention over the last couple of days, and I'm a little tired. I feel a little bit poorly. Um, so, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. You know I never like to raid out early, but it might end up being the case today if I'm not feeling any better. So, um, thank you for being here. 
I'm still going to be here. <laughs> that sounded like I was signing off, but I'm really not. Um, I'm just going to, if you, so, okay. <clears throat> Short introduction to needle felting. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, these little sharp boys here have got little hooks on them, um, which actually cause the fibers to be pushed down when you push the, the needles into them. And then they felt up and they become more solid. So these would have originally been fluff like this. And then you basically, the, the more you stab it, the more um, solid it becomes, and then you can start sculpting it into shapes and stuff. So, um, and what I'm doing here is where the colors are kind of being blended. Well, where I want them to be blended, I'm just literally flicking the edges and it's um, causing a bit more. Oops. There we go. Just a little bit more um, of a very very slight blending of these colors uh hey amanda how are you doing something other perhaps i broke the headache too yeah we're having a nice gentle sunday with music come on there we go hey laria managed to get here early and like the uh like the guys it's not a good stream if there isn't audio issues yes this is true apparently i'm a i'm a real streamer when i've had tech issues <laughs> It doesn't stop me from, you know, getting a little bit stressed because I want to I wanna make sure that you guys have a nice place to relax and all of those things. Um, but yeah, good to see you, Amanda. Thank you for shouting out, Amanda. Please go and check out Amanda if you love uh, Sonic. Sonic the Hedgehog, big, big fan. Uh, Chaos is our specialty brand and distractions are a fancy cup of tea. Yes. <clears throat> uh, happy for any time here, so raid whenever you feel is best for you. Thank you, Green. I appreciate that. I'm sure I'll be okay. I just wanted to sort of forewarn you guys that if I am feeling a bit poorly, I'm probably just going to um, take care of myself because I'm always telling you guys to take care of yourselves and I want to make sure that I'm uh, taking my own advice, you know? Uh, Word Anthor, writing tools community that's changed as well. Oh, cool! That sounds awesome. So, like, um, for people who are writing books, like, assistance with like a community of people who are who are writing stories and books and things. That sounds cool. There we go. So it's a little bit more floofy now. Good. Resting in bed with a bad belly ache. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Amanda. I hope you feel better soon. I hope that we can help you just chill and relax a little bit. But yeah, glad to see you here early, uh, Laria. Whenever you're here, I really do appreciate it. So thank you for being here. It's great to have you with us. Uh, now don't talk or interrupt your community much. Thoroughly enjoy and love watching your streams. Oh, Like I said, I would definitely be uh, coming to say hi to Stark. That sounds like my kind of place. Looking forward to seeing it. Have a bad belly from dinner yesterday. It was a new seafood place. Oh, no. Oh, sometimes that can be not so good. So make sure that you are sipping um, water or ice chips. Just keep yourself hydrated, Amanda, and I hope that it passes quickly. Lots of love to you. So I'm going to make these a little bit floofier. Again, doing the blendy blendy between the colours. I'm sure that there's another way of doing it. Well, no, there is another way of doing this, in fact. But I just thought I would try the uh, this sort of um, needle kind of flick technique. Yeah, everyone who wants a hug gets a hug. Everyone who doesn't want a hug just gets good vibes sent their way. Lots of love. Yeah, make sure I'm hydrating. I absolutely will start. Thank you for that. I'll have a little illegal hydrate. <laughs> I have chalky milk and something to snack on. I do. I have my chalky milk. Always. I love Star Trek. You're amazing stream. I have a gorgeous galaxy cow VTuber. <gasps> that sounds amazing. I mean, I was going over there anyway, but this this has sealed the deal for me. Uh, but I do have cookies as well. Excuse me. Oh, yeah. So I hope, I hope that you're all feeling uh, okay out there. I, I realise I sound a little croaky too, <laughs> but it's fine. I love the tool in them as well. It sounds so good. One sec. I had a little picture of, sort of a little reference picture of what I was working on. I'm going to step away for a sec. Currently, you might be having an anxiety attack. No worries, Ellie. Just breathe and relax. It is all good, bud. You're going to be fine. It will pass, I promise you. 
Um, I've actually got some... Yeah, that'll do. That'll be a good colour combo. Yeah, lots of love to you, Ellie. Uh, yesterday's raid was fun. Went not one, but two new streamers. Ooh! That's fun. Wait, so when we raided out to Laurie? Laurie Luna is great. But yeah, that does sound amazing. I'm definitely going to come and hang out with you, Stark. <laughs> um, let's have a little look. I'm just trying to get some colour ideas. I kind of want that dark one in the middle, to be fair. AFK lunch. No worries, Fuzzy. Enjoy your lunch. We'll speak to you again soon. Hey, Odd. How you doing, buddy? Right. And do that little blendy one there. Lovely. Cookies are delicious. Might grab me a cupcake and some chalky milk once I've done with my pizza. Oh, Sergle. Living your best life, buddy. I love this for you. Um. Do, 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 do. Right. Oh, that's the large needle. Right, so the other thing is that you actually use different size needles for different purposes. So if anyone's ever worked with sandpaper, it's kind of the same thing. You have like the higher grit or the larger needle to kind of just make your basic shape. And then you go in with smaller needles or finer sandpaper to, um, uh, excuse me, to fill in. Oh, to, to start getting the fine details and stuff in place. Cupcake sounds so good, right? Sucker for Laurie's raid. Oh, and Chloe. Love Chloe. Yep love Chloe. She is a she is a friend of the Gonkeys also. Cafe has pure chaos on a good day. My mods love to torment me. I mean, that's what mods are for, right? I'm a I'm a mod separately to this. Should not stayed up to 4 4 two, wait. I should have I should not have stayed up to 4 two days in a row. What? Are you okay, Bob? Uh, yeah, Chloe, yeah. Chloe is amazing. Tax odd and under a blanket. Cute. Ev mods are terrible affliction. They tend to do that, yeah. <laughs> we are nice most of the time. <laughs> espresso chocolate cupcakes with whipped espresso mousse frosting. Ooh, I mean, I'm not a coffee fan, but I know a lot of people who would love those. Aww. Yeah, odd gets tucked in under a blanket. Nice snuggles for everybody. Right, so I think this is going to do for this one at least, when I've got this in. And then we will start making a couple of smaller ones. Ouch, that was an ouch if anyone's counting. Here, stream on one screen and Stardew on the other. Caps, you are living your best life. I really do appreciate you being here. Enjoy the Stardew. It's a perfect Sunday game. Tormen, I'm here to be supportive mod cryptid. That is true. Isla is very supportive. <laughs> little ouch yep and there's a little ouch emote if you feel like using it as well there we go thank you green <laughs> 96 times oh my goodness i'm nearly at the big the big hundred rainbows have been particularly wiggly the last couple of days too much caffeine in isolation ah i see have you got anything that would be able to help with that anyone you want to go see any places you want to go i know that you don't like going outside because it's peopley out there which is completely understandable but I hope that you have someone that you can hang out with. I don't know what the tone indicator HJ means, but I... Because I have no clue, we keep seeing it around. Uh, no, I don't. What? What is that? Where is that? Oh, half joking. Ah, okay. Half joking. Interesting. Hey, Green Dragon, how you doing, buddy? Hope you're well. I hope you're well, too. I'm feeling a little bit poorly today, but I'm very glad that I'm here with all of you lovelies. Definitely helps. <laughs> Oops, one second. Uh, it's good having you here with us. Aww, thank you, Isla. I appreciate that. Like I said, hopefully I'll feel a little bit better in a bit. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't think I've seen half joking, but I'm now intrigued by it. Uh, 
uh, famous S or SA, sarcasm or smart ass. <laughs> I love that. Right, so that's one. Let's see how it looks, if the size is kind of correct where I want them. So this is our little hat. Uh, what do you think? With like two smaller ones, like increasingly smaller, so a slightly smaller and then a smaller one at the top. Does that look okay? Do you think? Or do you think it needs to be a wee bit smaller? Let me know. I think it looks okay. I think it might work. Uh, now once you get to the forest, right? It's good. Uh, for a post here, uh, the big, oh, the Bigfoot video? Wait. Oh no, no, it's fine. I haven't watched it yet, but I would assume that anyone who's sort of interested in it would be okay with creepy cryptid stuff. Good size with some smaller ones above. Yes, I thought so too. I wasn't sure. Proportions and things like that are always a bit of a challenge for me, so thank you for that. Love to make something new. Sister made lemon sugar cookies. <gasps> yes, we have the vid sometime off this week to hang out with boy called Branded Plague again. So that got canned at the last minute. Fuzzies also correct out on small land and red dead, and I'm making a pest of myself with the dog. Ah, you'll be fine. <laughs> uh, mainly saw it in the Lord of the Rings Twitter community where I booted out for shipping incest. Ew. Why did they think you were doing that? That doesn't sound like you at all. Hi Fluffy, how you doing? Welcome in. How are we doing today? Probably just overthinking. No, don't worry about it, honestly. Honestly. I think anyone who's who sees that will make the assumption that it will come with a slight warning for being a bit creepy, you know? Oh, excuse me. Snifflings. From the Lord of the Rings Twitter, that fan gets wild with its ships no matter how you look at it. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I hope that you feel better um, soon, Odd. I think I caught everybody. If I have missed anything, let me know. Just repost. But yeah, good to see you, Fluffy. But yeah, I do worry about those things as well, Green Dragon. But honestly, I don't think anyone would watch it if they had sort of any concerns about like it being a bit scary or anything. Yeah, I love the hat. Yes. Oh, Fluffy has a witchy hat and it's so cute. I love it so much. Uh, trying to find the recipe right now, just just struggling to find the frosting recipe. Yeah, espresso mousse. So it's like light and airy. Wow. Then in the Thorin Dwalin ship, because one of the community members is super into it, and two, those two are distantly related as Sam and Rosie. I see. Well, I mean, that's what I always think. Like, it's not, there's not a lot of like, I don't know, direct connections, but like everyone along the line is sort of, in 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 those in in the communities within the shire and stuff like that are kind of distantly related you know through whichever way hi rice how you doing welcome back vixen um. it's so cute the hat is so cute fluffy your sister is very talented please tell her that all the strangers on the internet love the hat <laughs> uh people can take care of themselves absolutely great dragon absolutely like, the only time that I would ever want something like that is if there is, like, something that could be potentially sort of personally triggering, but that is absolutely fine. When it's creepy stuff like that, I think, you know, the warning is there. People know they're into that kind of stuff. They know what they're letting themselves in for. I would describe myself as a shipper, non-practicing. <laughs> to me, being a pro shipper, like, kids, I've noped the F out of uh, more durance Oh, no. That's so strange. Mostly meaning to ship drama because rarely, uh, if ever, ship any canon characters. <laughs> I see. Hi, Drama Witch. How are you doing, fellow witchy friend? Good to see you. Hope you're well today. The hat is amazing. I didn't make it, I have to admit. I did not make this. I actually bought the hat. But this is what we did yesterday. Uh, these beautiful little mushrooms are actually uh, mini cro miniature crochet by the lovely greenie you've seen in chat who sent them to me and I really do appreciate it and it is an honour that I get to wear them on my hat. Uh, but yesterday we did the French knitting, the last little bit of this um, to go around as the band. We added the sort of mossy effect which I'm going to add some more details to and then we made the little um, the little oak leaf and started this, our little shelfie. So this will be going in here and then we'll have like two more going increasingly smaller as we get up there. Uh... Take your time, be vibing, and always DM me. Take a ton of pics. I've been learning to make buttercream flowers. Oh, they sound beautiful. So, like, with, um, uh, with, like, a piping bag, 
Don't understand ship drama, it's just a boat. <laughs> Uh, Ubisoft, uh, welcome back Ellie, I hope you're feeling better. Ubisoft has a new subscription like Xbox Game Pass or PlayStation Plus? Really? Okay, I'm intrigued. Anyone who's a gamer in chat, uh, were you aware of this? Uh, the drama, yeah. <laughs> this seems like there's a lot of drama. Uh, no spoilers, but go and watch the Super Mario Brothers movie wherever you can. Seriously, it was worth it. Oh, Ayala, thank you for that. That is incredibly long. I'm not sure how I can fit that on there, but please let me know a colour and I can put that. I can try my best. Thank you. <laughs> um, folks, if you if you are new here, this is the Jar of Stars. Yeah, we don't fit. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not entirely sure, but I'll try. <laughs> um, please choose a colour and I will do my best for you. I think the odds of Bigfoot bit being personally triggering a remote, though, but impossible. If anyone's had a bad experience, I apologize for that. Don't worry about it. You are absolutely fine. White. Okay. Do I have white? I think so. Um, yes. Yes, I do. Um, yeah, so this is a jar of stars. You can um, choose a positive message to put onto a strip of paper in the color of your choice, and then it goes in the jar. So we have a little jar of positivity, and all the Jar of Stars messages go into the Jar of Stars channel on our Discord, so if you need a little boost, some little positive messages and stuff, then you can go in there. But this is going to take me a second, so... <laughs> um, yeah. Um, uh, one sec. Uh, with piping and learning how to properly dye everything, use colouring to make perfect flowers. Yeah, so like, almost like the way that toothpaste works, I guess, like with the colours. But let me try. Bear with me, folks. I will catch up with... Uh... Um... But yeah, I'm glad you enjoyed the Super Mario Brothers movie. I've seen the trailer and thought it looked pretty dang cute. Uh, so let me just get started. This is going to be a two-liner. Um... Lady of the Silver Moon. Mm -hmm. Enchantress of the night. Check me in line with the circle fairly cast. try. Uh, Earth Mother? Oh, thank you for the follow. Oh, Short Chip, thank you so much for the sub. I appreciate that. I'll be right there with you. Thank you, thank you. Earth Mother, Mother of the Sleeping Earth. You're doing a little jar of stars here. Goodness, this is possibly the longest one that I've done. <laughs> Keep safe all. I'm running out of space. Keep safe all who gather here within the protective shelter of your arms. No, this is not going to fit. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm really not having the best day today. Um, don't have to go onto the other side. Um, yeah. Thank you, Isla. Appreciate it. Um, let me just catch up. Sorry, folks. Thank you, thank you. Hey Jay Frick, uh, Ubisoft has always had some great games that they shoot themselves in the foot with their bad launches and DRM, which gets in the way of fun experiences. Ooh, okay. $18 a month, that is, that is a little bit pricey. Said something similar, but Scottish. <laughs> I only pay 15 for Game Pass Ultimate, and that includes games uh, for PC and Xbox, includes Xbox Live Gold, yes. 
uh, write stuff like that too, but kind of shy sharing my own. No worries, ILA, absolutely. But like we said, we try our best to keep the, um, uh, oops, try our best to keep the Jar of Stars uh, redeems uh, short and sweet, just because uh, there's only a limited amount of space that I can fit on here. And it takes me a minute to, to get them written down and then catch up with chat. So thank you for your patience, folks. I really do appreciate it. And thank you for the star, ILA. This, as I said, this one will be in the Jar of Stars channel um, on our Discord. So if you ever need to have a little boost or just a little read of some positive messages, they are all saved in there for you to read. So thank you for that one. There we go. Thank you. Uh, mm, five months short chip thank you so much for that resub i really do appreciate that let me catch up um my friend reblogged my writing recently it's a whole point of tumblr and i was like emotional damage <laughs> playing a game called starbound a mix of stardew and minecraft in space you have a ship and explore other planets that sounds fun uh, I'm going to turn this into a thing. How small can guys you write? Please don't, Odd. Please don't. I really do appreciate everyone sharing their words, and I love the words that we that we have in the jar. But yeah, <laughs> maybe also when I'm I, like my brain is is kind of leaking out of my ears today. So <clears throat> I pay Ubisoft an extra eighteen dollars per game if they let me launch them directly and get right into the gameplay. Oh, is that a problem with Ubisoft? <clears throat> So I need to see defensive in my writing if I fear getting judged for writing the self dungeon nonsense. I write, hey, it's your writing drifting. No, everything else to fit on the paper. Yeah, it kind of does, though. <laughs> That's what it's there for. Um, back for my lurk. Thank you for coming back, Stardust. Thank you for the lurky lurk as well. Uh, you summon Albert. Thank you, JR. There's Albert. A lovely squirrel friend. <laughs> Uh, not even willing to pay $12 for Fallout 1. Oh my goodness, is it is it not that good? Can you check a character limit on them? Uh, maybe, maybe. Hey Rice, how you doing? I know I said hi to you earlier, but hey Rice, how you doing? Try falling back to sleep thinking too much. Oh, buddy, are you okay? Does it be a star spell? Does the sparkle one fill that role? Um, I think it does. I mean, I can show you what it looks like if you don't, if no one wants to redeem the sparkles. It summoned a demon. <laughs> um, Albert, my beloved, do you know what, Drifting? I'm going to make a little Albert to come with me to Comic-Con rather than taking OG Albert. Thank you for the snow fling. I appreciate that. Oh, okay. Albert is just hanging out. <laughs> we got some joddery snow at this end. One I designed doesn't exactly function the way it needs to. Wait, what? What does? Looking for an apron design. Oh, okay. Ubisoft are very buggy on release. Ah, I see. I'm not much of a gamer, Ellie, so I really do appreciate you uh, explaining that to me because I don't, I don't get it. Nursing your hurt, puppy. Rise. I'm so sorry to hear that. Oh, we got some clouds, some sparkles, some snow coming, and we got snow. Goodness. Me trying to find. Uh, let me find my favorite three-page quote. Wait, odd. Please don't. <laughs> the three-page quote from War and Peace. <laughs> Yeah, I don't like the hurt puppy. We try and find quotes from Kim Stanley Robinson's Mars Trilogy for Mars quote. I mean, you've got some sweet quotes, folks, if you're not following. I'm not an economist. We got rain, we got everything. <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful, beautiful words, Isla. It was just a little bit long for the paper. <laughs> I appreciate it though. Thank you, thank you. 4 a.m. Six degrees coffee number two. Nice. Had a Doctor Who quote come up today. That's cool. I didn't know that you had one in there. We were. Were you here for us talking about Doctor? I'm, I'm just sitting here, not doing anything. I apologise, folks. I'm getting there. Thank you, Ellie. What was the X card for? Um, what particular subject are we not talking about? Cover from the waters of Mars. Nice. Now keeping on an animal gives me so much anxiety. Yes, it is not fun. But yeah, you can always message a mod, but let us know what specific topic it is that you'd like us to stop talking about, and we can stop talking about it. Yeah, I'm not getting anywhere with this. I don't even know what I'm doing. Where with me a sec, folks. <laughs> I'm doing well. I'm doing great. 
Uh, to the recent Star Trek, cut it in half. 134 carrots. It was a help with a rough limit. Ah, oh, thank you, Green. I appreciate that. I will um, I will have a think about it and see if there is a character limit that I can add on it, just to make sure that we can get it in. We can get it written. We can get it written, and it will fit. And we can get it written quickly. And and um, yeah. Yeah. So I think like a tweet length would probably be uh, would be about right. <laughs> Um, how am I doing this? Love in my star quote was Dare Mighty Things. Yep, that's a good one. That's the longest quicks and no longer lets me feel his feet. We have to use the tiny angle grider, which is so, really, he's so fond of, or you're sarcastic right now. Uh, it mattered how active you are in the stream, we just said something. We're all here for the good vibes, and this week talks about nothing and everything. Thank you. I appreciate that. You know how it feels when you're not feeling a hundred and you're a little worried that it's um yeah, it's kind of appearing in the uh in in the content, you know? Uh, I'm gonna try and ooh Uh Nekozawa Art, welcome in. How are you doing? Thank you so much for the follow. It's great to have you with us. I appreciate it. Never yeah, exactly. <laughs> um from one extreme to the other is the motto of NASA's Jump Propulsion Laborator or about laboratory or laborator. Laboratory. There we go. I was like, there's a word. That's a new word. Long quicks are the worst. They are, right? Like, Peanut, I have to... So, Peanut is my Chihuahua, for anyone who hasn't... Uh, who is new in here. Uh, Peanut is my Chihuahua, and she is um, a little demon. I love her, but she is a tiny demon. She hates having her nails um, clipped. And I have to wrap her up in a towel with a muzzle on and kind of hold her still to get them clipped. Or we have to take her to the vets and she is still mad. I was hoping it was Labrador, right? Exactly. That would have been fun. Do you have to iron two shirts and pants today? Because I didn't get around to them yesterday, but finishing breakfast first. Yes, breakfast is important. Do that. You would like a jet propulsion Labrador? <laughs> That is what it's going to be from now on. So I'm going to try getting the next launch vehicle in Mars Rising vehicle, Jack Russell. Cute. I love Jack Russell. You're just going to have lots of doggies now. Jet Propulsion Lab. Yep. Yeah. Everyone knows that fungus looks like it's not growing for a long time. Then you look away for a second and all of a sudden it's everywhere. So I think you're perfect. <gasps> Jay Frick. I love that. Thank you. <laughs> that helped me feel a bit better. <laughs> But I'm just working out how to sew these. Just put a, throw a few stitches in there to get it in the right position. And then um, add some moss or some, um, some more felt around the outside to kind of cover the stitches. And I think that's the best way that we can do this. Uh, dog breed is the best at drawing. A labradoodle. <laughs> have you heard the song Bird Plane? No, I don't think I have. Uh, I kind of want to. <laughs> Yeah, we got a dad joke, come on. My was sent us a little help with Finn depressed because he has low elf esteem. Oh, it's kind of sad. <laughs> Always have a soft spot for golden retrievers. Yes, they are good doggos. Do you have favourite doggos in the uh, in the chat? I like to I like to know who's favourite doggos. I think we asked about favourite dinosaurs before as well. I don't know what yesterday met so many puppers from around the village. Oh. I love that. I, I stopped when we were driving to Pumbas yesterday. I stopped in the middle of a conversation or like interrupted myself by yelling dog in the middle of a conversation because I'd seen a cute dog outside. By Axes of Awesome. I've heard that name, but I don't think I know any of their musics. Love poodles. Cute. That Labrador is really fast or a Labrador is really good at rocket science. Yeah, both of them are pretty impressive. I'm happy with that. Alassa Apso, nice, good choice. Favourite dog aesthetic wise is the Irish setter. They are very pretty, aren't they? Just silky ginger babies. Bonjour, hey ship, how you doing? Welcome in. Um, your papa is a toy poodle, it's a little baby. Topic is dogs, then I have to. Yeah, Plink, we know. And knows. Fond of all dogs, I have a soft spot for a proper Heinz 57. What the F are you, Mark, of any size? But the big ones are glorious. Yes. And Plink loves the corgis. Yes. Partial to Australian shepherds. They have the most amazing eyes, right? <gasps> Irish wolfhound. I knew an Irish wolfhound when I was younger. He only had three legs, but he was the most beautiful baby. So big. They're so mega. 
but yeah, they are big, big doggos. Favorite doggos? Yes, come on, Circle. Come on, give it to me. All the doggos. Sorry, I just got a message that I really need to. Uh... Thank you for your patience, folks. Australian Shepherd said blue eyes. Yes, they do have the blue eyes. My Australian Shepherd has an ice blue one and a brown one. You have bowie eyes. Love almost all shepherd breeds, but I wouldn't own one as their working dogs, that is true. Corgi crosses are hilarious. They're just so cute. Yeah, I think Clink had corgis. Or new people with corgis. Had two corgis when growing up. There we go. Uh, mutts are also fun, especially when the bloodline is so bonkers, eventually it's like, I don't know, it's probably a dog. <laughs> Babies, beautiful doggos. Uh, Bowie eyes, yes, yeah, I ha I mean, I have a friend who has, uh, the lovely, the lovely Law Mint Green, um, has a, uh, I want to say it's a GSD Husky Cross, or a GSD Akita Cross, I can't remember. Law, are you there? Hi. But, um, yeah, her name is Lexi, and she has one blue eye and one brown eye, and she's beautiful. Um... Last I remember me when I turned home once in the welcome, she realised who I was. She wiggled with her whole body. Yes. Everyone thinks their pop is the best and everyone is absolutely correct. Yes. Um, hey, Moles. How you doing? Can we have a shout out for Molesy Moles, please? Good to see you. How you doing? How's everything? How's Sambi? Oh, I do a lurky in the background. It's absolutely delightful to meet you. You're my new favourite craft issue. Oh, Stark. That's the sweetest. Thank you so much and have an amazing rest of your day. Thank you for coming by. Thank you for bringing your amazing community by. I hope that you're all having a great day and I'm going to drop you a little follow and come and hang out in your streams after my work. But thank you again for coming by and have a great rest of your day. Exactly half and half down to the eyes. There we go. But I can't remember. Yeah. G oh, GSD Akita is odd. GSD Husky is Law. Yes. Hi, Law. GST mm -mm. Husky, there we go. Fan of pitties, yes. I love, I love. Staffies, pitties. Galabradoodle, he's almost a year old. Cute, what's his name? Medium sized brown dog, he's a rescue mutt. Cute. Chaos is about 75 GST. Been lucky lurkering, that's okay. Lucky lurkering is appreciated. He's got an Akita butt. <laughs> Everything is good, Sammy is good, planning on making the most of the lovely sunshine with some gardening and a barbecue. That sounds perfect, Moles. Have an amazing day. And thank you for coming by. Bye-bye, take care, Stark. Great to meet you. See you again soon. Bulldogs are so cute and cuffed. They are. They are just scrunchy, scrunchy faces. <laughs> um, but yeah. Oh, I need to put the foam side here next a little sensitive might get sunburn maybe maybe a little sunburn on your walk but yeah just a little soothing if you have some uh, aloe vera that's the good stuff mm -hmm. do 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 let's do this it makes me hungry for a cinnamon but this it's that little, uh, it's, it's, um, it's a little shelfy mushroom, but I can see it definitely does look like an ear actually, <laughs> but there'll be a couple more up here. So it'll look a bit more shelfy when it's done, but yeah, it is on the, uh, ears on the hat would actually be a pretty good idea. Nope. Let's not get distracted. <laughs> but yeah, I kind of want a cinnamon bun now. Staffies, the smiley little faces. Yes. Staffies have like. And, and this is not an insult because I, I think it should be used as a descriptor rather than an insult anyway. But Staffies have big fat heads and I love them. Big, big, wide smiles. Cat owners are just like, I have a cat, he's orange, yes. <laughs> Unless there are people who are like, I have a pure breed, blah, 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 blah. Which some of them are beautiful. My friend has one that is uh, hypoallergenic and he's gorgeous and his name is Totoro. 
Oh, Odd has summoned... Why is Albert making all of his appearances today? Hi, Albert. <laughs> That'd be wolf ears if you did. Do you think I would be a wolf? And not a bear or a fox? Yeah, being a wolf would be kind of cool. I don't know. I'm not sure. But I do like bears. Bears are great. <laughs> big pile of cushions. Thank you, Ayala. That sounds good. I could dive into a big pile of cushions right now. How's the cat breeze? Ah, oh, ragdolls. Yes, I remember the story about ragdolls. So the story goes with ragdolls. If you've ever seen them, they're kind of fl like sort of flat-faced Persian floofy ones, like that kind of style of, of cat. But the story goes that the ragdoll um, breed came along from a like a long-haired cat who was um, about to give birth um, and she got hit by a car and then the kittens were born without um, like with a, with a higher threshold for pain or they couldn't feel pain at all so they are very good for houses with children and things like that they're very patient they don't um, you know they, they're fine with being picked up and moved around and stuff like that but ragdolls are very lovely Fox but wolves are perhaps more recognizable yeah maybe I'm not entirely sure. But Albert is being extra social. Hey, Harley's Playground. I see a witch. Yes, I'm making a little witchy hat. How are you doing? Good to see you today. Um, the hat for Cozy One. Mm, no, uh, the, well, yes. Kind of, well, no. Yeah. So Cozy One was, Cozy One Kenobi was um, for Star Wars Celebration last week. And this is for Comic-Con. So, yes. A little cosplay. Ellie summoned an ominous going cloud. It's fine. It's ominous, but it's glowy. Welcome back, Fuzzy. Good to see you. I don't think the good chance is cozy as capybara and surrounded by every type of animal friendos. Aww! A little capybara with the with the orange on its head. <laughs> I'm a capybara. Have you decided now, drifting and uh, drifting in green, that I'm a capybara? Am I just a chill, just the chill capybara in the spring? Huskies because they're drama queens, uh, German Shepherds because they're gorgeous, Mutts because no one loves these beautiful canines even uh, enough, yeah. Um, also love wolf dogs even though they're a risky mix, can be dangerous and mixed with the wrong people, but seriously they're so pretty. Pities because those tails are legally registered weapons of happy destruction. Irish wolfhounds because they're little scrunkly old men looking critters, and chihuahuas because they've got tiny kissable heads and they squeak when they whine, yes they do. Even though Peanut was squeaking and, and having a little cry when she was in the car because she doesn't like the car. But we gave her lots of love anyway. Had a bit of a mental health meltdown yesterday. We're feeling good today. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Harley. But thank you so much for coming by. And I hope that we can just help you chill out a little bit more and just get you nice and relaxed. And, you know, we do chat or distract in here. So if you want to talk about it, you're welcome to. If you prefer to distract, then that's absolutely fine too. But yeah, Sergal clearly loves doggies, and I love this about them. <laughs> Decreed you're a capybara. Thank you, Drifting. <laughs> we'll wait for Astra to show up, because he does actually have the most adorable capybara squishy in his squishy too. Oh, you are, I love my dogs. They're a hyperfixation of mine for years. I can name any mix or canine at a glance. Oh, I love that. I have a friend who her hyperfixation was birds. Like, um, wildlife kind of birds. And uh, she became obsessed for a while. And that was very fun. I was so full. I baked bread this morning. I made way too much. Ooh, but fresh bread, though. Brain was nose diving into wolf, Jedi pack, but predatory, maybe deer ears or horse. I mean, that would be fun. I did think about um, wearing, like, elf ears, but not through the hat. Like, actually on my ears. But because of the way the hat sits, I wouldn't be able to do the elf ears. Uh... Make myself get up to get drink and meds. Good plan, Green. I may take a little extra break today, if that's okay with everybody. And let's just uh, get this looking a little bit more fresh. Don't know what that means. Words are hard. I'm just gonna get my way through this. Friends of that breathing exercise you showed me a while back. Yeah. Um, so I do the four, seven, eight, which is very good when you're walking somewhere. Um, so you breathe in for four seconds, just slow through your nose, four seconds. You hold for seven seconds, um, and then you breathe slow out of your mouth for eight seconds. 
and you can do that when you're walking so you walk four steps and breathe in walk for seven and hold and walk for eight and breathe out and just keep doing that just keep focusing on the breath and you'll be okay more breaks are good whatever you need yes i will try you know i don't like to but <laughs> Anyone in this for dog is based on sound? My neighbor's dog barks at me whenever I hang out laundry due to the solid fence. I can't see it. You're like, friend, what are you? I want to, I want to say hello to friend. I can imagine you being like that as well. Him on, and it's very cute. Breathe, dog. Yes, the breathe gif is good. I do love the breathe gif. Let's breathe in, breathe out. But yeah, I hope you're feeling okay, Isla. Oh, my voice is going. <laughs> It barks, so my best guess is... Uh, hold on. Uh, you need one of those periscope mirror things? Yes. Mine's showing us too? Yeah, sure. So, breathe. You breathe in for four. I'm, I'm kind of blocked up at the moment, so I might not be able to. But, yeah, breathe for four seconds. So, breathe in. Hold for seven. And breathe out for eight. Long and slow through the mouth. There you go. And just keep repeating that. Uh, go and do your best Werner Herzog. I would like to see the baby. <laughs> doing fine more for me in chat. No, I'm doing okay. I'm absolutely fine, honestly. I'm just uh, going to make sure that everyone is okay. I will be fine. <laughs> Barks is best guess. It's a dog. Yeah, exactly. Could be a deer. Apparently they bark like dogs. They, um, Mump Jack deer do screams. That's quite creepy. Um, so I'm sure most of you probably heard like fox fox screaming. Uh, Muntjac deer do screaming noises as well, like these screamy barks. It's a very strange. That looks a little bit too solid for me. I'm not sure if I like it. Hold on. The mailman always stops to pet the dogs and cats. Now they come running. Oh, getting rid of that stereotype that the, uh, the mail delivery people are. Uh... Uh, what do you have inside the hat to avoid uh, felting two sides of the hat together? I have a big chunk of memory foam. <laughs> but yeah, I love that you um, that you have the stereotype of uh, you're breaking the stereotype of the of the male delivery person being attacked by the uh, by the dogs. I love that. Uh, go make soup. Enjoy. Have fun souping. Fox screams are common outside my window at night. Yeah, they're quite terrifying, really. Another thing it helps panic attacks, five senses. Yes, yes. Ground yourself. Ground yourself completely. Just focus on the things that you know, the things that are around you that you can like physically touch. Which is why like crafting is quite good for me. It gives me something to focus on. And it gives me um here we go. It gives me something to focus on and it gives me all the good textures and stuff as well. So would recommend. Kind of soup. Can't leave us hanging. Uh it's JR soup. It's what, what us lot call bath. <laughs> yeah, what flavour soup, JR? <laughs> why, don't, why dogs don't seem to like mailmen is just because dogs protect their territory. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I like Fuzzy, I have a, uh, I have a chihuahua and she is very protective. Um, anyone sort of in her, in her area, which is a bit of a worry because we kind of live, we live in a, in a building that's got sort of multiple flats in it. Um, it's like a big old house that's been turned into separate apartments. So if she sees anyone on the driveway, she's like, why are you in my space? Go away. <laughs> um, we had a summer house when I was growing up that was out in the woods. The sound was so, so, so scary for a young ILM and they were out there alone. Yeah, screaming. It honestly, yeah, we get, we get a fair few around here as well because we've got a lot of sort of woodlands and stuff. But yeah. Um... Yeah, foxes screaming is quite a terrifying sound. Shrink of a barn now makes me understand why people thought banshees were a thing. YouTube that and imagine hearing it in the middle of the night, yeah, and having no clue what that is. Yeah, it's quite terrifying. Give me vibes of one of the little tree people in Wind Waker sticking their tongue out right now. I have not seen that, but I'm I, is it good? I mean, I'm guessing from that emote that it's good. <laughs> Hi, Kiri. How you doing? I hit 500 last week. Oh, I'm so sorry, buddy. I didn't see you come in. Hit 500. Going to celebrate with a little giveaway. want to thank you because I think you contributed a lot to me reaching that number. Buddy, your amazing work is the reason why 
you have uh, you have gotten to where you are. And I'm so, so proud of you, buddy. Please go and follow Kiri if you haven't already. Uh, an amazing, very, very talented goldsmith from Germany. Um, it's uh, it's quite awesome to uh, to lurk in the streams and just see them work. So please go give them a follow. Uh, Wind Waker Zelda. Yes, I believe it is. From the uh, from the link emote, I was like, maybe? Kobe thinks he, he owns the entire road. Really? How do you imagine Kobe being like big soft baby? <laughs> Congratulations on 500. That's so that's so good, Kiri. Thank you so much for letting us know, so we can celebrate with you. Have you ever had a wild warthog? I haven't, but I kind of want to now. I've seen boars. I've seen wild boars, but I haven't seen a, a wild warthog. You get a froggy bucket hat. Oh, Ellie, that sounds awesome. I love this for you. Enjoy your froggy bucket hat. <laughs> Legend of Zelda recorded the Ledge of Zedge. <laughs> Ledge of Zedge. I love it, you know? That's exactly what it is. Okay, so that is the first of the kind of... Hmm, how does that look? Maybe that when that's on, it will be a little bit more flat rather than pointing upwards, but we'll start making a couple of little smaller ones to go. So there'll be like one here and one here. So let's see what we can do. Yeah, Froggy Bucket Hat sounds so good. I would, uh, I would quite like to see this. <laughs> Uh, he's the biggest, softest baby you know him. Lots of trauma he hates. Anyone doesn't know get balky at every noise unless it's kids. Oh, I'll be such a sweetie. Mm -hmm. Uh, you have a Kirby beanie. <gasps> that sounds cool. We've got a couple of friends who really, really love Kirby. So that would be so good to see. <laughs> There's like a little Kirby face on it. I love that. It's a great name, right? Hi, Antan. How you doing, buddy? Good to see you. I you kind of gentle bark and telling me safe, but sometimes you're just so nervous it doesn't help me. Yeah, bud. Little sweetie. Or big sweetie, I guess. Uh, I found one with babies once during the, uh, during the mail in the woods. I ran my life depended on it. Yes, you would not want to get near a, uh, a boar with some babies. Or any animal with some babies. Thank you for shouting out Antan. Please go and follow the lovely Antan Carmilla. He is an absolute sweetheart. And he has recently trimmed his beard and looks very handsome. So, you're still sick, old buddy. I am also poorly. I'm not feeling so great. Actually, super huge. And the sound they make is like an angry bear. I mean, I'm now just going to be, uh, I'm now just going to be looking up, <laughs> looking up wild warthogs. That is nuts. Whereabouts in the world are you, Fuzzy, if you don't mind me asking? We're pretty vague in here. I just say I'm in the south of England. That's that's about as good enough for me. Yeah, JR can send you soup. Yeah, I don't know if JR soup would help Antan feel better. <laughs> he is making JR soup. This is uh, gen usually, I believe he is anyway, because that's usually what he calls it when he goes when when people go for the bath. <gasps> You're from the Netherlands. Ah, welcome in. We have a few, we have a few folks, uh, or at least one from the Netherlands in here. Don't stream anymore, at least not on this account. No worries. Our mods love to shout people out. So if we do shout someone out who's not streaming currently or doesn't stream, it is absolutely fine. We just want to give you some love. JR soup. There we go. <laughs> uh, finish my pizza now. I'm sad because there's no more pizza. Oh, no. Oh, Sergal, I hate that. You know that feeling? I think I've talked about it before. You know that feeling when you're halfway through a really good sandwich and you're sad because there's, there's only half left and then it will be gone? <laughs> Yeah. Hey, Toke, how you doing? Greetings and salutations, clan stabby stabby. Yes, welcome in. How are you doing today, buddy? Good to see you. I uh, hate that feeling, right? It's like, I want this sandwich to just continue forever. It's a good sandwich. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not the only one who feels that. Excuse me. Got that feeling watching Rocky Horror, but never with food. <laughs> Oh man, I haven't watched Rocky Horror in years. Been there with a sandwich or two. Exactly. I mean, we should be grateful that we got to have such a delicious sandwich that it made us do a sad when we were halfway through. So a phrase in Duolingo that says, The witch is bringing their date to the party. It is a bear. What? Thank you, Antan. That's kind of adorable. <laughs> 
That was me being one of the local grocery chains and their chicken tender sub made fresh right in front of you. Ooh. I do like a sandwich making place. I haven't really been to one for a while. Maybe I should. But yeah, I love that you like so you get like halfway through Rocky Horror and you're like, oh, it's gonna end soon. That makes me sad. At 18, I was in the cast in the U District in Seattle. Didn't miss a show for a year and a half every Friday and Saturday night. Amazing. So wait, hold on. Were you you were there for like the midnight screenings of the movie, or you were in a stage production of it? Made an egg sandwich for breakfast. Nice, Dwarfy. Enjoy that. We are we are just chatting about sandwiches. What is JR soup? Um, it is JR, JR soup is um is a bath, I believe. <laughs> You're in both, Toke. That's rad. That's so good. Um, I think I've only ever seen... Um, I've seen the movie, um, like, with a bunch of people once. And I've seen the, the stage show once. But yes. It is pretty dang awesome. Bath or bath? I mean... Bath. Uh, ba wait, hold on. Words. <laughs> bath. <laughs> <laughs> or Bath, if you are uh, from, from the north of England. Say Bath. And now I'm going to ask Odd how he says Bath. Bath, yeah. Yeah, we kind of say Bath. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Just going to keep saying Bath now. Oh my goodness. What has started in here? Bath. Yeah. Bath is... Uh, bath and grass is uh, is northern north england and bath is south england bath there we go thank you odd and <laughs> yeah, no, i a shower on my level oh hey and doctor's got having to ask me on facebook the cool survival city builder with the weird dancing music oh yes i remember that that was very silly just the dancing music just started randomly in the middle and the gate yeah the the very yeah Hopefully they fixed it. I mean, that was the demo, right? It doesn't say wash over here in Indiana. It say wash. <laughs> I love that. I I think I found a video recently that was um, Fred Armisen. It was amazing. If you've ever seen Portlandia and all that stuff. Um, yes, yeah, so we have a shower. I don't know if anyone says shower any different. I think shower is just shower. <laughs> um... But uh, I'm a drifting. Our bath is storage full of totes. We use the showers. Oh, but I love a bath. I'm absolutely going to go and have a nice hot bath after the stream. Um, but uh, yeah, so I watched a video of Fred Armisen, who is in Portlandia, and he does stuff with SNL, and he's a very, very funny man. Um, and he does really good accents and impressions and things. And he had a map of the United States and he was pointing out all the areas and he was like, this is what this people sound like. And this is what like people from this state sound like. And it was so funny because it fascinates me, like the differences between the accents of various places in the States, various places in the UK. Um, it's very interesting to me. I had a friend who said, Shah. Yeah. I mean... In America, it's a lot of cases is mirror. We say mirror, and you say mirror. A shah, yeah. Have a shah. That's a very... That sounds very, um... Kind of Queen's English, doesn't it? <laughs> Never seen Rocky Horror. No, most of the music, though. Yeah, see, yeah. The music is classic. The show is great. The movie is great. Everything with Tim Curry in it is great. Fight me. But yes, it is a shah. <laughs> uh, children's book. A is in Avenged Sevenfold. B is in Behemoth. C is in Cradle and Filth. D is in Dimmy Borgia. Nice. I would watch that. Hi, Milk. Can someone let Milk in, please? Aluminium. Yeah. Not aluminum. Or aluminum. As, uh, <laughs> as uh, Andy Dwyer says on Parks and Rec. Aluminum. Tim Curry was in so many good movies. He absolutely was. Guy's a legend. Uh, yeah, we say aluminium. Yeah, squirrel. Yeah, squirrel. Squirrel friends. And we say squirrel. Kitty! Um, but hi, Luke. How you doing, buddy? Reminds me of the conversation with an American friend that was like, hey, check out this video. It's the body pants with a Nebraskan accent. <gasps> Nebraskan? I, I don't know if I'd know what a Nebraskan accent sounds like. I'm now intrigued. 
no so that looks like it'll be about the right kind of size for what i want so this is where we were saying before this is our little shelfy mushroom that's going on here aluminum it's aluminium yeah aluminum alum aluminium aluminium needs a kitty command we have a kitty command oh for greeting the kitty i reckon we could do that tim curry's my fave right he's amazing i think i actually go and see rocky horror i may watch it sometime yeah Aluminum alloy, yes. <laughs> Mel, hi Milk, how are you doing today, bud? Um, so yeah, I'm going to put this here so it's about the right kind of size and then we want one that's just a teeny bit smaller at the top. I reckon we can do that. We've got, um, it's like half eleven. I'm better than you, you sound sick. I, yeah, I'm not feeling too well today, bud. But, um, I'll be okay. I've said to these, uh, these lovely folks in here that if I do need to go early, then I will. Um, but I'm doing okay. I'll survive. An American have been a lot of states, and I don't know an accent in Nebraska. Okay. I'm intrigued now. I'm just gonna go and watch a, a whole video of, like, everybody's accents. <laughs> uh, peepling hangover? Maybe. I'm just feeling a little bit unwell, but I'll be okay. Milk is a raccoon cat. A cat with raccoon-like features like a raccoon tail and patterns, and milk also squeaks. So cute. In the last five minutes, I was hit directly by a meteorite, found a colony of space monkeys who got angry and started shooting at me. Meteorites came back and blew us all up. I mean, that's a day, Green Dragon. Yikes. For a Sunday? That's a lot. Commencing aggressive care. <laughs> Is okay. I'm okay. Like I said, if I need to finish early, then I will, but right now I just want to get this finished and then we'll see where we go. <laughs> I'm going to go on a break in a sec, folks, and then uh, we'll see how we got on. I don't know the reason say, Americans say uh, aluminum is for the spelling error. Yes, I believe it was. That's the story I've heard anyway, that it was on like a on a crate somewhere. And rather than aluminium, it was aluminum. And then they just called it aluminum since then. But we say aluminium. Having a movie night. <gasps> Milk, got, <gasps> Milk got a girlfriend. Is that what that means? Milk got a GF? Uh, aluminium, it is. But yeah, let me get this uh, this little friend finished here, and then I'll see how I feel. But yeah, I don't I don't really want to raid out. Ouch! That was an ouch. <laughs> Anyone's counting? Okay. What I'll do is I'll see how I get on here, and then I might raid out at twelve. Is that all right with everyone? Just easier to say, like shorthand, maybe. I think that was the story that I heard. But yeah, milk. Oh, I love that milk. I love that. Congratulations. I mean, do we say that to people when they get into relationships? Congratulations. Uh, have a link for you from YouTube of all 50 states accents. Oh, yeah. Put it in... It can go in uh, pics or... Uh, I need. I kind of need like a video channel. Um, or uh, geek out. Something like that. Whatever works. You want the video too? As a proud American, I like to call it Alamaxium. <laughs> Alamaximum. Clearly on well first ouch in a while. Eh, you weren't here earlier when I stabbed myself. But that doesn't that that also does not help because I'm just gonna uh <laughs> it's just gonna prove to you even more that I'm a little bit poorly today. Alamaxilium would be a cool name. It would be a cool name. I agree. Don't have a discourse by sending in a personal message to your mod. Thank you, Toke. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. I will give that a listen so I get to learn all the accents. Did I see the Space Night vid? I did, Anton. I haven't watched it yet, but I saw the link and I will be watching it. Thank you so much. I had I was a little bitty, a little bit, little bitty, a little busy yesterday. Um, we uh we went to go and visit uh Shogun Pumba and uh and Jackie Jacks and Mr. Steve. <laughs> Uh, remember being in Northern Kibber, I was camping about age eight, and I'm like, whoa, I like your accent. It looks to me sunny, uh, funny and insistent. I was the one with the accent and said, I don't have an accent. First time I realised everyone sounds different. Yeah, isn't that amazing? Oh, thank you, Isla, for sharing that. If I've missed anything, I do apologise. Trying to, trying to keep up. How people get really angry when I call it aluminum, but yeah, I don't understand that. It's a word. We know exactly what it means, regardless of the pronunciation, right? As if I don't know if I told you, I got a bottle of cologne in the mail. Surprisingly, it's vegan, paraben-free and cruelty-free. Love that. 
and it's divine. Impression of Dior Sauvage, and it's insert unholy sounds here. Nice. Now, was it? Is it obsession? Is it obsession? There's there's one particular um, cologne or smell or scent that um, attracts big cats. Bear with me, folks. Thank you. Obsession by Camel Clyde. That's the one. Yeah, it's wild. I only learnt it the other day that, like, it's, um... Um... What did it do? It, uh, yeah, it attracts big cats. So weird. You are hugging all the friends! I was hugging all the friends. It was lovely. Uh, time to start my adventure outside. Oh, Nos, thank you so much for being here, buddy. I hope the, uh, the outside adventuring goes well. I will see you all again soon. He is obsession? Nice. You can have big kitties. Big, big, big cats coming after you. You don't live in San Francisco? Nice, Ellie. What sort of things would you like to, uh, what makes you want to live in San Francisco? Um, I can get into voice chat. I'm from Atlanta. Ah, oh, the Georgia accent. I see. I haven't, uh, haven't spelled it in over a decade. One moment you mentioned obsession, I remembered it. Really? It's like in your brain. I look, kind of love that. Would you like to have all the friends soon? Yes, please. When I'm feeling a little less poorly. Just ordered a breakfast. I love this for you, Harley. What did you get? Favourite perfume is Goddess Intense by Mugler. Ooh. Nice. That sounds amazing. I'll link you in a Twitch whisper. They have like 167 other scents. Nice. I literally just wear stuff from Lush. That is my, uh, my go-to. Obsession by Kelvin, yeah. <laughs> Kelvin Klein, yes. <laughs> Misty or Ralph Lauren Midnight Remain. Ooh. Or rom Midnight Romance. Smells great. I've been using Obsession for 30 years. I love that. Finding a signature scent and being like, this is mine. This is me. I love that. Mills got school tomorrow. Oh, boo. I have work tomorrow. That is not fun. Yeah, so Ralph Lauren Midnight Romance sounds good. Obsession with Kelvin, yes. <laughs> As a no, 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 me neither. But you know, things smell nice, and people wear things that smell nice. That's all we know, and we are happy that people are wearing things that smell nice and make them feel good. That's pretty much it. Warm, woodsy kind of scents. Yes, yeah, sandalwood. Mm -mm -mm. Yep, sandalwood, patchouli, all of those delicious scents and things is good. Clink Happy is another memorable perfume. Oh, I think I know a few people who wear Clinique Happy or have done. Like Old Spice, but it's getting hard to find. Oh, really? I thought that would be like a forever one that you can get everywhere. But yeah, woodsy stuff like cedar is really lovely. And yeah, just nice, spicy, woodsy, warm scents. Yep. Me, you and me drifting, I think we would uh, we'd have a similar similar like feeling when it comes to the, the scents and things. Signature scent is either Lemonade Fizz or Pumpkin Cupcakes from Bath & Body Works. Ooh! See, we don't have Bath & Body Works in the UK, unfortunately, but they sound good. Milk's like smelling like a circus because milk is a clown. See, when I think of circus, I think, like, does that mean that you smell like popcorn and, ca uh, like, cotton candy and all of that good stuff? That's what makes me think of that. A bottle of bamboo and surf cologne. Ooh! That sounds good, too. Um... Session by Kelvin. It smells like coffee and waffles. <laughs> yeah, I love that. Uh, wife doesn't wear perfume, but I wrote La Ralph Lauren. Nice. I love that. See, we've just ended up. We've been like, where's your favourite dog? What's your favourite perfume? We've just had uh, lots of interesting uh, conversations over the stream today. I appreciate you all being here. Thank you, thank you. So my favourite Yankee Candle scent is Seaside Woods. Ooh. That does sound good. I want to find a nice scent, but buying online is hard, so I want to sniff them all first. Yeah, that makes sense. Like, I wouldn't want to buy something without knowing what it smells like. Descriptions don't really do it all the time, do they? What would the cozy scent smell like? Um, patchouli, lavender, a uh, little bit of lavender, a little bit of tonka bean, which is like a spiced vanilla. Um, what else do I usually wear? Like I said, sandalwood, um, like uh, a little note of citrus in there. Like bergamot or something like that would be in there too. Mm. I'm in a cologne named after you. Yes, Obsession by Kelvin. <laughs> hey, buddy. 
How are you doing, folks? If you're not following KF Double K, please go and give them a follow. Here's the reason that I'm on Twitch. I am probably not doing a great job of being like, yay, I am on Twitch and, and not feeling well. But um, yeah, please go and give them a follow. Give them, give them lots of love. Finally getting around to make my own Discord server to call it Seaside Woods. Do it. You got your coffee and chocolate milk and cupcake? I love that. Smells are interesting. My father used to smoke a very... A uh, specific scent of tobacco. He died over three decades ago. I walked past a guy in the street a few years ago. He was smoking a rolled cigarette. As I walked past it, it smelled just like my grandfather's. Wow. Yeah, smell is, is probably the, one of the most nostalgic um, senses, right? It has to be. And you're an obsessive type? No, it's because there's obsession by Calvin Klein and someone, I believe, wrote Kelvin rather than Calvin and it made us all giggle. So that's now you. Oh, goodness, yeah, I need to... Uh, yeah. Uh, do you know what? I'm going to go till break and then I'm going to go because I'm sniffling all over the place and it must not be very pleasant for all of you guys to listen to. So thank you for your patience and understanding. But yeah, I'm feeling a little bit crummy today. Right now your mushroom looks like an uncrustable with a bit taken out of it. Oh, it's like it is. It's kind of like a little a little pot sticker, a little dumpling. Hi, Leslie. How are you doing? Uh, as long as they get some of the royalties, I'm all good. Exactly. Yeah, we're gonna make we're gonna make it smell like Green said it's gonna smell like coffee and waffles, and like maybe some maple syrup or something. Hi, Astra. How you doing, buddy? Good to see you. Um. <gasps> Wait. Is that an emote of a pot sticker? Uh, a little dumpling. I didn't know we had those. I'll take it. Perfect. <laughs> That'll be on the merch store in a week. <laughs> and old books with the coffee and waffles. Ooh, yes. That would be good. Top 10 worst jokers. There's no there's no bad joker actor. All of them have their own strengths and weaknesses. Naming one would not be fair as they're all good in the respect for us, Jared Leto. <laughs> I think I've seen a similar one with dogs. It's just like, which is the which is the angriest dog breed? And it's like, no, dogs are it's a learned behaviour. Um dogs are very sweet and lovely and amazing. Chihuahua. <laughs> Need to go create a perfume bottle walk up, do it. Miss off looks up my dragons by the window were lightly coated with the oily smoke from the car fire last year. Oh, Astra, I'm sorry to hear that, buddy. I hope that um I hope that it'll come off a little bit. I don't have channel points sort of for next week, so sad that I'm so excited about it. No worries, bud, I will I will get on it. Like I said, I'm I'm not feeling too well today, so I'm gonna raid out at twelve. Um I'm sorry folks that I can't stay on, but I appreciate your understanding. It's not break time yet. I'm almost there. Which is the worst breed? <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, two seconds, folks. Let me have a little sip. No, 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 well, I'm not sure if they're machine washable. I'm sorry, buddy. Do you have a capybara? Yes, we were talking about capybaras earlier. I think people have decided that I am a capybara, so... Just blow my nose a little. Oh. Okay. You after yourself is more important. Yeah, thank you so much. I appreciate that, Vixen. I will uh example for doing Yeah, I'm getting there. Getting there slowly. Capybaras don't say fuck to you. <laughs> What's the view to get a rush? I'm really excited for people buying imaginary teas and coffee for each other, like I'm Peter Pan in Neverland. I love that bud. You should get excited about things like that. It's very cute. Very, very cute. Might be able to use an in-place foam cleaner. Yeah, carpet cleaner. Yeah, that might work. There would, there might be some. Uh, I do occasionally swear, yes. In fact, Kay would probably say I swear a lot. So, <laughs> in real life, I just try not to do it on stream. But uh, that one made me laugh, so. Um... Do, do, do. Probably fell on a capybara's head and it would do some justice dose on your pillow. Oh. Do, 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 do. Right, so let's just finish this little friend and we'll attach it to the hat and we'll maybe do one more and then we'll go. Well, I occasionally swear. <gasps> and Tanta swears all my life. What? 
What is going on? Not a pair of floating hand. Yeah, I am peoples. I give good hugs, apparently. And I do swears. Really don't that much, especially compared to me, like, call me a jerk. Well, you know. I think I can get away with calling you a jerk. <laughs> Occasionally. You know I love you, though, bud. Lots and lots. And apparently smells nice. Yes, this is, this is, um, this is a thing. But yeah, I have uh, multiple scents and things like that. That is, uh, I like to smell nice. Jerk isn't swearing, yeah. <laughs> Have you tried not being a jerk? <laughs> trying to be a jerk about it? A lovable jerk, yeah, exactly. A lovable jerk, there we go, that works. Uh, there we go. Not the one that goes to a gathering and says, I'm meeting in the corner. I did not. Lord just caught me while I was probably messaging you. You jerk. Jerk <laughs> uh, is one of my favourite flavours of chicken. There you go. That works. I apologise if I missed anyone, folks. I'm just trying to get this finished. And then I'm going to uh, gonna hop off. And we'll find someone lovely to raid out to. Photo evidence says you did. Yeah, I know. I wasn't that moody, though. I'll ask anyone who was there. Do you know those making fungi with the tree trunks that someone once vandalised to look like they were ballerina tutus? Wait, what? Yeah, so this is the this is the first one. This is what we did yesterday, so anyone who wasn't here. These beautiful little micro crochet mushrooms that were made by the lovely greenie I've seen in chat and just had to go on my hat, come on. Um, and then we did the French knitting uh, band around the edge. We did the moss here and we did the oak leaf here. And then we're now attaching, oops, the little shelfy mushrooms that are going up on here. So there you go. Um, photo evidence, yeah, I'm sorry, I keep reading that. I'm just like, I'm, how dare you, sir? How dare? Uh, I was not even paying attention to the ball cozy in the corner at the moment. It's too preoccupied by taking silly pictures of the magic flingers. Yes, the magic flingers were having a lovely time. Yep, Law was making me laugh lots. We had lots of fun just hanging out on the sofa and having a chat. <laughs> Honey fungus, yes. I am not entirely sure of which fungus this is. I just tend to call them little the little shelf dudes. <laughs> but uh, I hope that they give the impression, at least, of the little shelfy guys. The structure of the stems on these little mushrooms is so fantastic, aren't they? Look at how amazing they are. Look at how incredible the stuff that Green makes is. I love it. They're going to make you blush, Green, because you're amazing and incredible and very, very talented, and I love it. Bracket mushrooms, quite possibly, Tux, but I cannot remember the name. But I will I will look it up and see whether I can, uh, see whether I can recall. Um... Fungus, yes. <laughs> Just take a meds now, breakfast, gentle reminder to anyone who needs it. Yes, so take care of yourselves, folks. Make sure that you've taken your meds. Make sure that you are... Um... Oops. I'm trying to remember how I did this now. Yeah, make sure that you're taking care of yourselves. I know that I'm being a complete hypocrite by still being uh, on here, but I will stay on till 12. Uh... Swear to God, I'm going to heal shade. Why? What did Shade do? You have these on your costume? Of course. Oh my goodness. Tux, your your LARP is is just kind of inspirational to me. Um, like I said, I'm trying to make this for my like for my cosplay, kind of, for Comic Con, so I know it's more sort of LARP based rather than being an actual character, but it's like original character, I guess, so that works, right? The donuts the other day and I have sprinkles on my carpet. Oh no! Naughty. Naughty shade. <laughs> Thank you, Luke. <laughs> I will stay on until 13. I mean, for you, it is 13. I will stay on until 12 in the UK. Not too much. I have a bit of a husky thing going on with my voice today. Yeah, I am feeling quite unwell. I'm feeling a bit headachey and a bit grim, so... I'm going to just go and chill. I'll be leaving. Do take care. And I hope that it all goes away quickly. Thank you so much, Eli. Take care, my friend. It's great to have you with us. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. And we'll see you again soon. 
So does the for forest ballerina's link tea? Thank you, Astra. That sounds exactly the sort of thing that I need to be uh, checking out. I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, but yes, I am, I am not feeling my best today. I think it would probably be a good idea if I just go and take care of myself. And, you know, I'm always telling you guys to do the same. So I'm going to uh, just make sure that I rest up and stuff. I mean, I don't have hay fever. No, not hay fever, buddy. Not hay fever. The country file guide to common bracket fungo may be worth looking at. Oh, I love country file. Thank you, Leslie. That sounds like a plan. But yeah, mine was just literally like what colours I have that kind of give that idea of the of the mushroomy stuff. Well, that was okay. Just definitely overdid it with being loud and obnoxious. No, not obnoxious. You're delightful. You're an absolute delight and the most normal, of course. Means more hat project for next week. Yes, absolutely. I want to take, like I said, I want to start taking my time over some of the stuff. And I think Jay Frick had said earlier that it kind of makes sense that I would uh, take time over the mushrooms because they take a little minute to, to happen, right? You were the most normal. You were absolutely the most normal. Lord. <laughs> right, so that is on. We've got about 10 minutes. So probably just add a little bit of moss around the outside of here and then we'll find someone. Um... I always call them, I'm sure someone already mentioned this, but I think those flat tree shrooms are called Ganoderma. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> Big emotion. Should we leak a little bit just in case? Yes. <laughs> oh, mate, I was dying. I was dying. That was so good. <laughs> just cover all the bases. Could be sad. Could be happy. Could be being told off, but we'll try. Best. Best. Yeah, please don't look at my uh, my messy stitches inside the hat. No one's going to see it. It's fine. Now to remember whether I use the... I think I used the darker one rather than the lighter one for the mossy shapes. Yeah, we don't know yet. Exactly. Uh... Big emotion. Could be I need to watch Supernatural. Yeah, I will be having a bath after stream and uh, doing, doing the Supernatural watchings. Might yell at Laura a little bit. A few hours ago, I was trying to track down the notes of some squishy pirate doggers and found an adorable bee squish. <gasps> bees? How many bees do you have, do you think? I know you've got the Minecraft bee. What other bees do you have? His little setter, exactly. That is, that is why. <laughs> there we go. Uh, Brady's saying hat needs a little... That needs a little woodlouse. <gasps> I thought about doing little... I think I had a suggestion of little beacles and bugs and things. That would be very cute. But yeah, a little woodlouse, maybe a little caterpillar. Hi, Upcycly, how are you doing? Can we have a shout out for Upcycly, please? Uh, if you did not raid in, uh, raid along with us uh, last week when we went to go and see Upcycly, it's a very, very chill time. So please go and give them a follow. Um, what are we making today? I am decorating a hat. So we are doing little uh, little shelfy mushrooms that are going on the hat. Survey says nine. I love that. Nine little bees. Going to be at the top of this hat like a star on top of a Christmas tree. That would be very cute. I have seen ones before where the, the sort of tip comes down like this. And then you almost have like a little cobweb like attached here, if that makes sense. So like from here to here and just have a little, uh, a little cobweb. So maybe I'll give it a try. A little cheesy bob, yes. I love that the woodlouse, wood, wood lice have uh, different names depending on where they're from. They're like chunky reishi mushrooms, good for medicines. Ooh, I mean, I like that. Yeah, thank you for shouting out, Cycli. Uh, I've sent to my D&D document that says, Law goes here. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, Plink sent one that said uh, it was like the loading screen on uh, on Satisfactory and it said, insert Law here. And Law was like, where am I being inserted? <laughs> yes, I love that. And I love that when we watch, when I watch Supernatural, uh, Sam is always saying in Supernatural, um, according to Law, I'm like, what did Law say this time? Probably some nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, freaky feline. Welcome in. How you doing today? Good to see you. Because Law knows. Yeah, exactly. Law knows the things. Right. Um. Let's just get this last little bit in here. 
and I'm planning on doing a little bit of French knotting, if you guys have ever seen French knots. We're doing, it seems to be all the French stuff. According to law, the witches can't pronounce Samhain properly. Yes, Samhain. It's like I was watching it cringing and going, there was no one called Samhain. What are you talking about? But hi, Dharma. How are you doing? No one think about a law dump. <laughs> Thank you, Astra. Appreciate that. Dream last night was in an ocean of orange, so you almost say it was a fantasy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yep, yeah, Isla is the Giles and Law is the Law. Um, get a bit worried for a friend who's been going through some tough times, looking forward to a meet up. He's feeling sick. Oh, bad. I'm sorry to hear that. That really sucks, but there will be other meetups. Health is more important. And I'm saying that because I'm going to be raiding out in about five minutes. Um, I'm going to be raiding out at break time today because I'm feeling not very well. Um, so, there we go. Um, right, so I'm going to add a third, but it's not going to be today. I'm going to be um, adding a little third little shelfy up the top here. And then we'll add some French knots and stuff to add some detailing to the moss so that it looks a little bit more moss-like. A little bit more textured. Um... But yeah, this is pretty much it. So I'm going to find someone to raid out to. Short stream today. Yeah, I'm not feeling very well, Ellie. So I'm practicing what I preach. I'm going to go and rest and relax. I always tell everybody else to do the same. So I'm going to do the same for myself. So I apologize that it's a little shorter today. But I appreciate it. Uh, the thing with the thing with sour. Yeah, so I say sour. But uh, is it a mushroom? It is. Yeah, just little shelfy mushrooms there. Thank you, Upcycle. I appreciate that. What's good at an old British knot? I mean, that sounds like something you'd make a tie. But, uh, <laughs> give me a sec, folks. Um, yeah, Samhain. Yeah, so Samhain is, is Samhain is spelt exactly how, uh, how Plink is pronouncing it there. So, Samhain. Just a little stream. Thank you, folks. I'm going to find someone to raid out to. Let's leave you with a good buddy. Lots of love, but yeah, thank you. Goodness. My computer is going very slow today. Clearly it's not feeling well either. <laughs> One second. Thank you for understanding, folks. Like I said, I just want to make sure that I am looking after myself as much as I tell everybody else and we all tell everybody how to... Uh, um make sure that they're looking after themselves yeah i'm losing my words so i really do need to head on out um let me just have a little look if you've got anybody who you have in mind I'm trying to see if we can find someone just nice and chill to hang out with um it's, yeah sunday midday that's not a load maybe more people will come up on midday we could go to Miss L, Miss L Knits. She's doing Sunday craft and chill. She has recently had her nails done and now she is doing some crafting. That sounds pretty rad. Should we do that? I think so. Excuse me, sorry, I keep sniffling. I do apologize. But yeah, we're gonna raid into Miss L Knits. <laughs> One second. So yeah. For allergy sufferers, tree pollen is like, yeah, it's not allergies. Not allergies. I'm just Pengu's not chill, Weird KK is on, thank you, thank you. I'm going to, um, oops, yeah, we're going to go and see Miss L Knits, so she's very lovely. Um, craft and chill, she's doing cross stitch right now, and she's got some lovely people in there, so, uh, copy the raid call, um, if you could pop the raid call in there, folks, I will get this one ready. Type, dang it. Allergies is obsession. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Let me just make sure I've got that spelt correctly. I do. Okay, so um, that's the cozy raid there. So we're all bringing cookies. Thank you again, folks, for your understanding. Um, I would usually be raiding out at two. Um, so if you are new here, we usually go um, for sort of twice this length. But I'm not feeling too well today. And I always tell everybody to make sure that they're taking care of themselves. So I guess I have to do the same for me, right? Um, Thank you again for being here. Thank you for uh, hanging out and chatting about your favourite dog types and your favourite perfumes and your favourite everything and just being your incredible, amazing selves. Um, I'll be back again next Saturday, hopefully feeling a lot better. Um, and we'll carry on with our little witchy hat when we get there.
but yeah lots of love to you all take care of yourselves uh stay safe stay cozy and i'll see you next week <laughs>